could have taken them straight from the plane into intensive 10 hour rehearsals and had them not go crazy. Johnny Marr was the was pretty inspiring. He, he, he didn't even go home to have a shower, didn't even go to his house to have a shower or get changed or anything. He just immediately, from the van into rehearsal for about five hours, went through about 15 songs. Um, that's somebody who loves music. And I think it's true of everybody that was involved really. One wanted it to be special, not just on paper, and not just because it was a bunch of mates hanging out, because the music, they sort of cared that the music was good. Because the environment's not really what musicians are used to, you know. Speaking personally, um, you know, I'm used to... I mean, my studio is pretty good at home and everything, but in these situations, normally you're in a, a you know, purpose-built sort of rehearsal room with no windows, and you get in a taxi and you drive, you know, go across London, and, or you go straight to a venue, and you mean, you know, be on a sort of mountain top overlooking the ocean. It was uh, pretty surreal, really. Eddie Vedder, he had a great surf on the Sunday. Piha turned on a really good surf for him. Uh, just the night after seeing the Aurora, suddenly the waves turned good and he went out and caught about 40 rides before soundcheck, which was, you know, something we can't plan, but we did send a few up.